Hello everybody, it's Chuck, and today I'm going to be doing a, a really slight modification to uh, the Black Mamba, and that is I'm going to be putting some additional tint on the front windshield. Now, I know it's kind of hard to tell in here because of the sunlight and the GoPro doesn't give the best, but of course I can't go 5% like what we have here, which is truly, truly blacked out. But the front windshield I have found that I can do is I can do 35%. So I'm going to be taking it down to uh, Altamir here in Tulsa, a place that's done all of my vehicles since I've lived here. They always do a great job and I've got an appointment so we're headed that way. I was doing some research on whether or not I really wanted to tint the front windows, which one thing is nice about it is if I don't like it, of course I can take it off. But, you know, with the Napa interior and everything else that I have in here, I wanted to get a little bit more protection for that. Yes, whenever I go out, play golf, go somewhere in the car, I always put the visor up. But not only do I think this will add a little bit of level to some UV protection there, but I think it's also going to look pretty badass, which, of course, that's what the Black Mama's always looking for, is to uh, look, look really classy but badass at the same time. And my first concern was, is it going to be too dark? Is, you know, am I going to be able to see at night? <laughs> and, you know, you know, I got some reassurance from people who have done their fronts that, hey, you know, 35% it's not that bad it's not 5% kind of like your little visors that you'll put on the sides now I know it's gonna be different all over the country because you've got 50 different states and 50 different set of rules it seems like when it comes to automobiles and in Oklahoma we do not have a safety inspection sticker so you know there's I'm not having to worry about trying to dodge that and you know, the biggest thing is really gonna, just going to be your cops or maybe going from a, one state to another because, you know, some some cops can, you know, most cops for the for the most part are really cool guys, gals, uh, but some of them can be kind of, you know, dicks about, uh, you know, writing people tickets because, you know, they get, their tent's too high even though they don't live there. But I wanted to make sure that, again, that I, was, I would be able to visibly see that wouldn't be an issue. I was kind of rest assured, hey, you're not going to have a problem with that. 35% is not as dark as your side windows, which my side windows are at 5%. My back is at 5%. And then, of course, like I said, I have a sun visor that's 5%. So this is going to say thank you, a huge thank you to all the new subscribers. Since my last video, I just crossed the 400 subscriber mark. Man, I feel like, I mean, that is just so cool. I mean, that's bigger than, I think, that's bigger than the high school I went to. <laughs> so, guys, again, I appreciate you stopping by the channel. You know, my videos, I try to keep them around 8 to 12 every now and then. They'll be a little bit longer than that. But I always try to have as much content about the Corvette in there as I, as I possibly can. And... Again, all the great uh, feedback. I've, I've talked to several of you who have maybe changed out your lug nuts. Maybe you're, you know, thinking about getting the 9H Pro. Or some people have asked me about the mud guards. And that's really what this channel is all about. It's all about really connecting with people out there who, you know, like cars, like Corvettes. And, you know, again, I'm constantly learning from other people that I follow online on YouTube and I try to incorporate a lot of that into my channel also yesterday another order of the 2017 Grand Sports came in and there was actually one of them it's amazing that when you're a member of a vet club uh, on Facebook every time there's like a new truckload that comes in to our particular city somebody in our vet club is taking pictures so they did take a picture some pictures of uh, some of the new vets that came in now of course they were covered in white because they have the protective cover on them and one of the gentlemen who actually ordered his grand sport had it went ahead and had it supercharged i guess he went ahead and paid to have the the uh, the, the 
motor and everything supercharged. And, you know, to me, you know, a Grand Sport is what it is. It's a step above a Stingray. But when you start, I guess, modifying it to that, then, you know, really it's in a Z06 body. And now you've given it a Z06 type of engine. You know, I probably would have rather have had a 2017 Z06. But that's just me. You know, I think they're all beautiful cars. Um, whether you have a Stingray, whether you have a C4, C5, C6. Uh, of course, the C7s. I just think that they're just beautiful cars all the way around. I think the biggest difference in the cars now, of course, is comfort, technology, and every year GM is trying to make strides in that. The colors are a big thing for the Grand Sport. Uh, they got a, some pretty wild color options on the interior. So they're making it very more comfortable to drive in. Uh, Performance-wise, of course, they're stepping it up. I think the sky's the limit for Corvette as long as they don't outprice people. You know, if you're like me, you know, you're not a millionaire, you're not somebody who's going to go down and drop $150,000 on a mid engine Corvette. Yes, there's some people out there that are novice, there's some people out there that do have money and they will ship their Z06 to Hennessy down in Dallas or down in, I think it's San Antonio or Houston, somewhere down there. And take their car from 650 horsepower down to or up to 850 or even a thousand and spend twenty five thirty thousand dollars doing it you know for those type of people hey you know great but there's more of us that are looking for if you want that performance Z06 to be around the 85 to you know ninety thousand dollar range that allows the normal guy to go out and you know get a just a beautiful car like this and I what I hope they don't do meaning GM is start trying to keep up with the McLarens and keep up with some of these higher-end supercars Lamborghini Ferraris that's not what this car has been is there a sector of people who would like to have that type of car if that's what you want then go buy that but this car stands on its own this car is one of the fastest cars on the road i mean 650 horsepower coming off the showroom floor you don't you're, it, that's hard to find usually you have to have you know something that's been souped up by somebody third party wise whether somebody's buying a mustang and having shelby do something to it or you know somebody's buying some type of i mean now the Hellcats do come off the showroom floor at 707 pounds, but, you know, that's like a fat girl with roller skates on. I mean, it, it's just, that thing is so massive and so heavy that it takes so long for it to get going that, you know, it's not even a race at that point. So, yes, they have 707 horsepower off the showroom floor on the Hellcats. Thumbs up to those guys for getting it, but you're also moving a house. Hey guys, I'm almost here. I'm going to see if they'll let me get any video of them putting the tent on the front. And I know a lot of places, they just don't allow videos, video cameras, because they, you know, who knows, they may be doing something that they're not supposed to. Somebody might see something in the, in the shot. Uh, but if they won't allow me to, that's cool, I understand. But I am going to get some before pictures, some after pictures. So you guys let me know what you think about it. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Um, I think you'll enjoy the channel, and it's just a, just a normal guy driving one of the most badass cars made in the United States. So, guys, I appreciate you, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Also, yesterday, another order of the 2017 Grand Sports came in, and there was actually one of them. And it's amazing that when you're a member of a vet club uh, on Facebook, Every time there's like a new truckload that comes in to our particular city, somebody in our vet club is taking pictures. So they did take a picture, some pictures of uh, some of the new vets that came in. Now, of course, they were covered in white because they have the protective cover on them. And one of the gentlemen who actually ordered his Grand Sport had it, went ahead and had it supercharged. I guess he went ahead and paid to have the... the the, the motor and everything supercharged and you know to me 
you know, a Grand Sport is what it is. It's a step above a Stingray. But when you start, I guess, modifying it to that, then, you know, really it's in a Z06 body. And now you've given it a Z06 type of engine. You know, I probably would have rather have had a 2017 Z06. But that's just me. You know, I think they're all beautiful cars. Um, whether you have a Stingray, whether you have a C4, C5, C6. Uh, of course, the C7s. I just think that they're just beautiful cars all the way around. I think the biggest difference in the cars now, of course, is comfort, technology, and every year GM is trying to make strides in that. The colors are a big thing for the Grand Sport. Uh, they got a, some pretty wild color options on the interior. So they're making it very more comfortable to drive in. Uh, Performance-wise, of course, they're stepping it up. I think the sky is the limit for Corvette as long as they don't outprice people. You know, if you're like me, you know, you're not a millionaire, you're not somebody who's going to go down and drop $150,000 on a mid engine Corvette. Yes, there's some people out there that are novice, there's some people out there that do have money and they will ship their Z06 to Hennessy down in Dallas or down in, I think it's San Antonio or Houston, somewhere down there and take their car from 650 horsepower down to or up to 850 or even a thousand and spend twenty five thirty thousand dollars doing it you know for those type of people hey you know great but there's more of us that are looking for if you want that performance z06 to be around the 85 to you know ninety thousand dollar range that allows the normal guy to go out and you know get a just a beautiful car like this and I hope what I hope they don't do meaning GM is start trying to keep up with the McLarens and keep up with some of these higher-end supercars Lamborghini Ferraris that's not what this car has been is there a sector of people who would like to have that type of car if that's what you want then go buy that but this car stands on its own. This car is one of the fastest cars on the road. I mean, 650 horsepower coming off the showroom floor, you don't, you're, it, that's hard to find. Usually you have to have, you know, something that's been souped up by somebody third party wise, whether somebody's buying a Mustang and having Shelby do something to it, or, you know, somebody's buying some type of, I mean, now the Hellcats do come off the showroom floor at 707 pounds. But, you know, that's like a fat girl with roller skates on. I mean, it, it's just, that thing is so massive and so heavy that it takes so long for it to get going that, you know, it's not even a race at that point. So, yes, they have 707 horsepower off the showroom floor on the Hellcats. Thumbs up to those guys for getting it. But you're also moving a house.
Okay guys, here's the, the black mamba. She's got her window front windshield tinted. It is 35%. Now my sides are five, back is five. And I think this just took this car over the top. I mean, for me, I, I really didn't think I could do a whole lot more to it. But I think this is, uh, and I, I'm going to have to go back and look, but there was somebody in one of my videos said, hey, you need to get the front windshield tinted. And I know that I think they said 50%, um, but I went with the 35. I think it looks amazing, looks awesome. And... I will probably never end up wearing my sunglasses again when I'm in the car because there's just absolutely no need to. I was coming back uh, from getting this done. And again, I want to give a shout out to those guys at Altamir Tent and Tulsa. If you're in the 918, if you're in the green country area here in Tulsa or here in Oklahoma and you need to get a car tinted, these guys are awesome at what they do. And so I want to give them a shout out for allowing me to shoot a small video of those guys uh, putting on some of the product on the car. Uh, just a great group of guys. So again, if you guys need to have any tent work done, go see them. I, I, you know, I'm almost speech, speechless at this point. I mean, it just is beautiful. I will give a review uh, as I've driven it, maybe in one of the videos, the up, uh, upcoming videos, I'll talk a little bit about it a little bit more when I get an opportunity to drive it out in the, out, out in the dark and see how it reacts. Uh, but just talking with those guys up there, they said, you know, um, you know, if you're driving around the city, those things like that, you, you're not going to see a big difference. Uh, but you do see a huge difference from the outside. And that's what I was wanting to get. This weekend, I do have a car show on Saturday. It's benefiting a local ministry. And I'm going to have this out there. I'll have it all cleaned up. It's kind of dirty now. I, again, got in some rain coming back. Um, don't worry guys your cars won't melt if it, if it gets rained on don't worry about it uh, but just excited about this modification again the next modification that I have coming up is going to be my front splitter that's gonna round out all the carbon fiber that I'll be putting on the car uh, to match the side skirts so this week uh, I meant uh, it may be another week or so because they they were backlogged on those uh, some of that carbon fiber stuff, they are carbon fiber, they don't ha always have in stock. So.